Now this is a rather interesting contraption. It looks a bit like a station, old station, railway station luggage. Yeah. Or some form of torture possibly. Or possibly a medieval <laughs> torture in implement, yeah. <laughs> if you stay tuned to the end of the episode, we'll find out exactly what this is for in our special edition of The Barns, back at Hilltop Farm. There's a place I have found in the shade on the ground Far from a worries and troubling sound When I go there to be by myself, only me No one can guess what I came there to see Behind me here is the 885 David Brown tractor, which was a utility tractor and was produced between 1971 and 1980. So, when did you pick it up, Ben? Uh, Dad bought this in 75. Right, 1975, okay. 1975, you yeah. bought this. And I it's still going still, strong. It's still going strong. It was such a good tractor. Yeah, yeah. excellent. It no was problem. at the time when the company was taken over by Case. That's right, yeah. It was but they a... still carried on producing with the David Brown logo, all part from America, that is. And how did you find it as a tractor? Very reliable. It was our main tractor years and years ago. Did yeah. everything, bailing, did a lot of work on the farm. And what do you use it for these days? These days, I'm afraid it's on the yard scraper. It's come down, down, down to this on the yard scraper. But it, that's its job and that's what it does, I'm afraid. And the yard scraper meaning it, it clears up the muck. But it's got to be done. It's, it's got to keep the done. farm yeah, clean. Yeah, and it's, that's their job. Yeah. yeah. So that's what she yeah. does. Interesting, David Brown got together with Harry Ferguson in 1936 and produced the first tractors of those type. And uh, they fell out and eventually yeah, Ferguson yeah. moved on with Henry Ford and produced those tractors. That's it. And obviously David Brown went on to produce their own individual tractors until taken over by Case. But um, should we have a look and see what it's like? Have a bit of a go you in it? Yeah, we'll Come take, on, let's, take, give, take let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. Yeah, no problem. It's a lovely little tractor this is out of a three cylinder engine, synchro mesh gearbox, it goes ever so well. Can you a small tractor please? Really good. Synchro mesh gearbox, does it for us? We have a kid in here. Thanks for that steering. Pardon? Tell us about the steering. Oh, the steering, Adam. This one was born before our steering came out. It was just on the changeover, I think, but the next, the following year, they altered them on. And they brought the power steering out, but this one hasn't got in. It makes life terribly difficult. Three speed gearbox, you go first, second, and third, and reverse. There's 12 gears on it. There's a little guide there that tells you how many gears you've got, what gear it. It's a yard tractor is what I call it. I'm not trying to buy the yard utility sort of a tractor, that's what I'm doing. But it didn't tell us about The average grade is 6 times an hour from you. Very high, but this tractor is quite a few. It hasn't done many hours per year if you work that out. Let me show you my mule, Adam, that I've got down the building. Come and have a peek. And here she is. It's the Kawasaki Mule. 410 diesel power steering. The mule standing for multi-use light equipment. And the original vehicle was sketched out on a napkin. The guys who invented it wanted to create a two-seater vehicle that was multi-purpose. And is it? Very multi-purpose item. Yeah, you can use it for anything on the farm. Really good fencing. Picking the calves up out the field that are born outside, you can use it for anything. Four so this has got a 950 D diesel engine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Three cylinder, marvelous. It goes goes like a bomb. Yeah. Should we give it a go? Yeah. See you in a minute. It's got a variable speed gearbox. It's just one gear. Yeah. And it goes faster or slower, just as you want.
goes well, doesn't she? Yeah, Let's have a look at this engine, Ben. Right. See what is involved. Pull it up. And there's a little clip here. Holds it in this place. There's and there it is. There it is. The little engine does a lot of work. So this is the 950 diesel engine. The diesel engine. Yeah. Water cooled. Terrific engine. Variable speed drive. There's a V belt inside there. Yeah. That opens and closes, which gives you your speed. It's very good. It works very well. It's simple. That's all you need, that, isn't that's it? For what a vehicle they, like that's this. what they want. Yeah. And very low maintenance. Very low maintenance. Hope there's not much to go wrong. So Ben today is going to be going out in the field and doing some rolling. So what does that involve? It's just knocking all the stones down, Adam, pressing the mould on stone, ready for the camp to Flatting go. down the surface. Yeah, yeah. And these are filled with water, is that yeah, right? Yeah, they're balanced rolls, yeah. You can fill them with water. Yeah. It makes a good job. Really and this good. on its own weighs 3,000 kilos. Yeah, it weighs 3,000 kilos by itself. Right, it's and a you, lot, isn't it? It is. It's three tonne. It weighs three tonne empty. It's, it's a lot of weight. Yeah. You can push it up. I think it's going to go up to six tonne. Right. With the ballast in it. So let's get it out on the field and see how this works yep. and we can show everybody how, yeah, how you do it. That's let's no go. Problem. This roll rolls 18 feet at a time, so it's quite a big swath out of the field in one bout. 18 feet wide is quite a wide roll. Our old roll didn't used to be half as wide as this one. It was only 10 foot wide. And it was it. Oh, it takes forever to do it. This one, I, I think you probably roll 15, 16 acres in hour and a half, two hours maximum. Wow. It's very quick. But this is doing a good job, Roland. This is doing a really good job. And uh, I know that it's notoriously difficult keeping the straight lines, isn't it? It is difficult, I don't know. I hope it looks tidy behind me. I'm not having a look around yet. Here, yeah, in a few weeks. Need some rabbits. <laughs> <laughs> What's the name of this field? This field's called Blackwoodine, this field is, Adam. Yeah, and they've all got different names. They've haven't all they? got different names, yeah. Some of the fields have got lovely names. They go back a long time. They way. go back a long <laughs> time. Now, time to do the reveal. What is this contraption, Mike? Well, if you haven't guessed, it's a sack lift. Okay. So you put your bag of corn or your heavy bag of wheat on there. Yep. You can move it around like a conventional sack trolley. Right. But the clever thing about this is the ratchet mechanism with chain. So the bag of corn, wheat, Lift it up all the way to the top so you can then put the bag of wheat onto your shoulder, yeah, and away you go. The way you went. Yeah. So, where did you purchase this from? I purchased this at a um, local farm sale, okay, 
Yeah, it's amazing what you can pick up at farm sale. Yeah, and, and you think it's roughly what sort of period? I would say approximately 1930s. But right. Somebody out there might correct me on that. But okay, and I'm you're selling this, aren't you? It is up for sale if anybody's interested, yeah. Would make a lovely garden ornament, put your plants on there, and it would look great yeah. in your garden. So, yeah. So, if you're interested, it's all in the links below. But for now, we'll see you next time down at the barns, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.